We've been learning some amazing things about God this week, but today's true Bible story is the best ever. It starts with Jesus having a special dinner with some close friends. Jesus knew that one of those friends was going to betray him. Jesus could have stopped the friend, but he didn't. Jesus took one step closer to the cross. After dinner, Jesus went to a garden to pray. All of a sudden, he heard noises. It was footsteps. Soldiers were coming. There he is! Arrest him! The men arrested Jesus and took him away. Jesus could have stopped them, but he didn't. He took one step closer to the cross. Jesus was condemned to die, to be crucified like a criminal, even though he had never sinned, not even once. We sin. We all do wrong things, every one of us, even grown-ups. There's no way we can get rid of those sins on our own. Only Jesus can do that. That's why he was willing to step closer and closer to the cross. Jesus loves us so much that he was willing to die to take away our sins. On a lonely hill, the soldiers nailed Jesus to the cross and Jesus died. His friends thought that was the end. Jesus was dead. It was over. And they were so, so sad. After Jesus died, his friends took his body from the cross and put it in a dark tomb, kind of like a cave. Three days later, a few friends went to the tomb and found it open. They went inside and were surprised and confused. Jesus' body was gone. What had happened? Suddenly, two angels appeared in bright, dazzling robes. They heard the angels say, Why are you looking among the dead for someone who is alive? He isn't here. He's risen from the dead. When Jesus died on the cross, he defeated sin. When he came back to life, he defeated death. When we believe in Jesus, he'll always be with us here on earth. And someday, we can live with him forever in heaven. God loves us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus, to die for our sins. God will always love you.